Hello, this is Brett, and in this video we're going to talk about arrays. So to begin, I've created a file called arrays.c, and I have my boilerplate code in here, which just includes standard I.O. and then a main function, and then I have a terminal open here on the left so that I can run, uh, make my file, compile it, and then I can run it. So you can see my starting point with the boilerplate code, and I've compiled it and ran it, and everything is working okay. So you can get, uh, we've done this a lot in the previous lessons, so get to this point and then we'll jump into uh, learning about arrays. So an array is a holder for multiple values, and so we've learned about ints in the past, but what if we ha wanted to have a, like a list or multiple ints in one data structure? And that's what we do with an array. So an array is a placeholder for multiple values. So I can initialize an array by typing in first the type of array, which is um, int, and then I'll call it numbers. And then I'll say in the array there's going to be four slots, and then I'll initialize those slots with all zeros. Now to show you what this is doing, let's print out the value, right? So we type in printf, and then we'll say numbers, and there's going to be four numbers that are stored in that array, so we'll put in uh, our placeholder for those four digits here, and then we'll give it a new line character. And then to access the array, we type numbers, and the first slot is the zero slot, the second slot would be the one slot, the uh, third slot is uh, two, and then the fourth slot is three. So this takes a little bit of getting used to because arrays are indexed by zero. So the first placement in the array is not one, but it is zero. So if we save this, we make and we run it, we can see that what it's printed out is zero, 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 because in our array, in this, this list that we have, if you will, this grouping, we have four slots, four buckets, and we've put zero into each of them. So now if we were to put in here zero, one, two, three, um, and give it four numbers, and then we run that again, you'll see that the numbers it prints out is zero, one, two, and three. Uh, and this correlates with, so number zero, again the zero position, is this zero value, the one position is this one value, the, se the second position is the two value, and the third is the three value. So that that doesn't become confusing, let's put in some other numbers. So let's put in uh, 100, 200, 300, 400. We save that, and we run it, and we see that the numbers are 100, 200, 300, 400. So all this is saying is this array can store multiple value types. Now, uh, let's go on and uh, play around with this so we can get used to seeing it and using it. So let's set up some more numbers. So let's say we print out 100, 200, 300, 400. Now we want to change the value. So in number slot, in numbers array, in slot 0, we want to change the value from 100 and we're going to assign it the value of 5. So we can save that, and now if we copy this code up here to print our numbers out, I'll just copy and paste that, so it's doing the same thing where there's four number slots, and then we uh, call each of those number slots and print them out. We'll save that, and we'll see that the first time here on the left we have 100, 200, 300, 400, but we've reassigned the value in the first in the zero position or the first slot to five, and so that's why the next time we run uh, and see the values in our array, it's five because that got reassigned, and then we have 200, 300, 400. So that gives you uh, somewhat of an idea of what an array is. Now there's different types of arrays that you can use, just like. Um, we've learned about different types. So this, the, the data stored in this an array is the type of int, but we could also do the same thing with um, char. So if we said char name and we did something similar for, and instead of giving it a integer, we gave it some kind of a, we gave it a character and then saved it. Now we're going to have 
this array or these four slots that can hold characters in them. So if we were to do uh, a printf and we were to go print the values in there, we could say, let's call this name each, and then uh, give it the sign for the character. So we're going to print out four characters and then we'll access the values inside of the array just like we did before so name 0, name 1, name 2, name 3 and when we run that we'll have A's in each slot and then it will print out those A's so let's save that, run that and we can see, we can see that, uh, let's do a, a new line character in here a little typo there I missed so I needed a new line character but I put a percent in so we'll save that run it and now we can say this has um, the name each A so if we were to come in and put let's put a B in here for that character and then we'll run that and you can see now we have A and B and here we have C run it again so we have A, B, C and then we'll put in D and run it again. So you can see each time we added those characters in it adds a value in there so we have uh, the first time we had an A, the second time we have A, B, the third time we have A, B, C, and the fourth time we have A, B, C, D. So again this array is holding there's four slots so one, two, three, four but they're indexed at zero. I keep repeating that but that's probably one of the, the most difficult things to remember um, is that they're indexed uh, by zero. So that's an introduction to arrays. Um, again, just remember that arrays are a grouping or a list or multiple values that are held in sequence and uh, you can do a lot of things with them. Uh, another thing you can do with arrays is you can actually loop over arrays. And So in the previous lesson we've learned how to do for loops. So if we were to come in here and say for um, i equals zero and then we'll say i is less than four because we know we have four items in our array and then we do i plus plus and then uh, we could do printf and then let's just do count and then we'll do a digit here and then in our numbers array we can access numbers but instead of giving it a, a static value like we've done here we can give it i so if we go and we print this, we run this, oops, little typo there. Let's try to make that again and see. Oop, and I didn't declare i. It's because I'm going through this a little bit fast. So we first say int i and print f. And uh, let's go through, put a new line character in here. So I'll save that. So you can see here what it's done is that the count, uh, the first time in the loop i was 0 and so it went into numbers and it replaced that with 0 and it got the number in the 0 slot which is 5 and then the next time in the loop it uh, increased and so i was 1 and so when, when it accessed the array in place of i here it used the number 1 and so it went up into the 0 and then the 1 slot here which was 200 and that's why down here in the bottom left it printed out 200 and then in the next loop i was 3 and so it went to the or i was 2 sorry so it went 0 1 2 and that's where we get 300 from and then next time it was um, i was 3 and so it went into 0 1 2 3 slot and it got 400 so that's how we get this looping mechanism and so it looped through each item in the array and printed out the account so that gives you an introduction to arrays. Hopefully that uh, serves as a, a good precursor to um, what you'll get into. Now these arrays are used a lot in programming, so uh, continue to study them and do the homework, and we'll revisit them at a later point as well. Thank you.